plastic commander here and today I'm finally doing the video that you guys have been begging me for. I mean, y'all have been begging me for this video for ages now. And if you've been a fan of the channel for quite some time, you probably know what it is. That's right, today's video is top five toy army men most likely to be thrown out of a Chili's because of public intoxication. I know. You know, hold the applause, hold the applause, hold the cheers. Okay, I know I deliver uh, what the fans want. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video and talk about the top five toy army men most likely to be thrown out of a Chili's because of public intoxication. Hi, welcome to Chili's. Now, if there is anything Thanksgiving makes me think of, it's getting publicly intoxicated at a Chili's. And that is going to be the theme of today's video. The top five toy army men who are most likely to be thrown out of Chili's for being publicly intoxicated. And first, we can't go wrong. We have General Ulysses S. Grant. <laughs> So, gonna bring him up here. He is in a buttermilk white color. And this is an original vintage Marks Ulysses S. Grant. Yeah, we have Ulysses S. Grant. He has his name right there. You can, U.S. Grant, close enough. Yeah, Ulysses S. Grant was a known alcoholic. All of his soldiers knew, all of the other generals knew. Everyone knew, even Lincoln knew, and you know what? None of them cared because he still kicked the rebel scum back across the Dixon line. So Ulysses S. Grant, also a standing president. So really interesting guy, interesting history, and he even has what looks like a little cigar right there in his hand. So he's definitely getting thrown out of Chili's because they don't have a smoking section. So at number five, Ulysses S. Grant. So coming in in the number four spot, we have Han Solo. So Han Solo is a feared smuggler who smuggles things across the galaxy. Uh, spice, which is what Star Wars refers to as drugs. Uh, but I like to pretend that it's actually lemon pepper. So Han Solo like, literally the first time we ever see this guy, he's at a bar. Okay, that's all you really need to know, right? He's at a bar, and he's also hanging out with some big, hairy guy. Uh, like, imagine hanging out with some big, hairy guy who's, like, way bigger than you. Couldn't be me, I'm built different. But yeah, he would definitely be thrown out of Chili's. Like, definitely. And he would probably leave and drunk drive the Millennium Falcon uh, back to Moss Eisley. So, at the number four spot, we have Han Solo. So, counting down at number three, we have just Eddie Russian. That's right, just any of them. This guy, this guy, this guy back here. These are six inch vintage Marks Russians. I'm gonna do a video on Marks's six inch line uh, soon, sometime in the future. But yeah, definitely, they would definitely be there. These figures actually, fun fact, were made by Plasta Marks, which was made in Mexico. So. Uh, in the 70s and late 60s, Marks had opened up a uh, manufacturing plant in Mexico to outsource some of the labor. And even though when Marks went under after being bought out by Kellogg in the 1970s, Plasta Marks continued producing their figures and selling them. So there's a lot of old vintage Marks figures you might have that were made by them. But anyway, other than them, we have some Airfix Russians. I have every... Airfix Russian that I own, or at least every original one. Uh, I think I have a couple more in gray, but these are all the orange ones. And the way you can tell these are real is because this line and that right there where it bit off the screw, every Airfix figure has this. Uh, very small detail, but that's how you can tell if Airfix made your figures, of course. 
And these are actually really pretty. I love that orange color. It's part of the reason I never paint my figures. And then I have a bunch of Mars, not Marks, but Mars Russian soldiers. So these are the Eastern uh, German Guard, which I guess technically not Russian uh, in a way. Uh, technically East German, so my mistake. But then I have some World War II heavy Russian soldiers. And I even got a guy right here just firing away on that machine gun that has the clip that looks like a DVD laser disc copy, maybe of the B movie. And then we got this guy going prone right here. He's got a star on his hat. This right here might as well be Viktor Reznov. But yeah, Russians are known for being alcoholics. A part of that is because during the uh, 30s, 40s, and 50s, the government subsidi subsidized the USSR tons of uh, vodka manufacturers. And that was basically to pacify the Russian people. And they sold vodka for really cheap. So if you were cold and miserable, at least you could get vodka for really cheap. So fun facts, fun history facts with the Plastic Commander. But that is where the stereotype comes from. Um, but yeah, any Russian soldier, any of these guys would probably get thrown out of Chili's pretty quick. And coming in at the number two spot, this might be a really odd pick, but I'm going to explain myself here. Johnny Tremaine. So if you're unfamiliar with Johnny Tremaine, he is a uh, character in a old novel from the, uh, I want to say turn of the century, about a young silversmith apprentice whose hand gets ruined because some idiot some stupid idiot, if you've read the book, just a complete idiot, spills hot silver all over his hand. And it sucks because he is like the, he's like a really talented silversmith, but then his hand gets ruined. And since it's like the 1770s, they're like, sorry, Johnny Tremaine, we have no way of fixing your hand. You're just going to be lame for the rest of your life. And then, uh, even though he's super depressed and he also gets like arrested for some reason, like he gets arrested. Like I'm, it's a crazy book, uh, all things considered. And eventually he joins the revolution and he, uh, take, helps take, uh, kick out the British Empire off of the American colonies, so uh, good for him. But yeah, uh, if I were Johnny Tremaine, I would be getting blackout drunk every day. Like if my hand got ruined, first of all, I would use my hardened hand of silver, my new silver fist, to clobber that idiot over the head. I gotta... I gotta chill out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Plastic Commander fans. I gotta chill out. Just whenever I start talking about Johnny Tremaine, I just start getting so upset. I just want to... You know, coming in in the number one spot, we have these three construction workers. These three construction workers have been hard at work all day, and you gotta know they're rowdy. You know, they, they're gonna be spending whatever little money they have after paying their alimony and child support at Chili's on those $5 margaritas that you can take home with you now, which that's crazy. Yeah, it really helps you if you wanna drink and drive. So these, uh, just real quick, these were made by Imperial Toys, and yeah, they're actually really cool and I had a bunch of these when I was a kid I remember when they sold them in the big bag and whenever I do like a city life video I'm going to review these for show but yeah these three construction workers though they may look innocent are going to burn that chilies to the ground so honestly it's not really accurate to say they're going to get thrown out as much as they're going to destroy the chilies and everyone in it. But luckily, they're construction workers, so they can put it all back together again. So, that is going to conclude today's video of He Fell Over. What army men would be thrown out of a chilies for public intoxication? And if you want an answer, and that guy, Ulysses S. Grant, he fell over. He's already falling down drunk, ladies and gentlemen. Just to seek my point, just hook, line, sticker. He fell over, too. He's falling over right now. Han Solo Cotton. What a good buddy. So, guys, top five toy army men to be thrown out of a Chili's for public intoxication.
and it's gonna be these guys. So it was really difficult to find the top five toy Arby bin that would be thrown out of the chilies due to public intoxication. What am I saying? No, it wasn't. In fact, most of these were on my shelves, to be honest. I just looked at the shelves for three minutes. But anyway, guys, that is going to wrap up today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have a Q&A video here in the next couple of days. So that's going to be super duper exciting. On top of that, join the Discord. The Discord is at 130 members, which is insane. I never thought it would get that big, and it's still growing strong as ever. I'm not only on there, but other YouTubers are on there, like Army Stop Motion. So if you want to chat with him, and me and a bunch of other people who love toy soldiers and toy army men definitely go check it out not to mention if you guys have been keeping up with the channel y'all noticed that i've been streaming every friday and saturday at roughly 7 p.m central time and i plan on continuing that trend because y'all seem to really like the stream so if you want to go over there and pop in and say hi go ahead and do that i love seeing people trickle on in where i just uh do a lot of lego building i do a lot of painting i do a lot of different freaky stuff when i'm over there so definitely go and check that out but anyway guys that's gonna wrap it up for today's video thank you all so much for watching i'm the plastic commander bye mission accomplished well done man pack it up we're going home